This is a script of prescription, as wrong as it could be. The wrong way is a long way from the right or the left or the forgotten. I tell a tale, a snail trail of slimy, shiny, rimy sludge, a piece of fudge, a smudge on a page. This is an age in the stage of stuttering, uttering, shattering the primitive instincts to believe in intuitive ideals and principles over and above the love of your compatriots. So we swim in total turbulence instead of opulence, all gilded and gold-plated for the sake of new spheres of privilege amongst the health and safety advantage brokers, shaping future contracts with their personal contacts to tick those boxes that really matter. set off for the post office, find it's been closed down in a postmodern story of backwards progress. Every value at once. Different black holes occur green holes, red holes, blue holes, indigo, in we go, in we all go.
Take a muffin with the most marmalade load it can carry. Thank you.
Good question. Well, it's certainly evolved. Um, I mean, I like the idea of, I mean, I, I do stuff called tape noise. I like the idea of being in the background. Uh, also, with the Weird Garden, it was like, for me, doing art or, or music was really important for just meeting people who were similar, really. So the idea of the, of the decimal place was to create a space where things could happen. You weren't kind of in control of it, you just created a space and then through the sort of cumulative power of people, things grew like a garden. And um, it's really evolved over its sort of, you know, I don't know how long. Decimal Place has been there about 15 years and Weird Garden's just had its 10th year. And it definitely, there is something about when people get together, there is something over and above what we normally know that happens. And it's all just down to that kind of, uh, you know, getting together really. That cooperative sort of idea. And the, the idea of a garden is, you know, you things grow and you just sort of help them, but then they grow themselves. And, uh, you know, the fact that it's not got a lot of status is a good sort of filter, really, because people who are into that kind of idea stay away. So you've got like real genuine sentiment there and something really precious. You know. Well, what's what things that are obscure and, you know, like wildflowers, they don't normally, don't necessarily strike you straight away as being like the most sort of important thing. And, I mean, I always felt like I was a bit of a weirdo, you know, compared to other people. And I've always sort of related to that kind of idea. And it's also, there's like a, you know, I like the way that it's like weird, weird and weed, you know, like the difference between a, what is the difference between a proper plant and a weed? It's really, you know, who decides who, what's a weed and what's a flower. And, Well, generally, um, been very good. I've only had a couple of things, really. I mean, we always try and keep it not too loud and finish by 10. Uh, and I've had a few run-ins. I've had plenty of run-ins with authorities over different things, but, you know, you can usually sort of persuade them. I mean, like the performing, you know, the PRS, people like that, you know, they. They have rules that really prohibit a lot of spaces. A lot more could go on, but you have these rules that stop things happening, and that's what's wrong at the moment. Is there's not enough opportunity, I don't think. So it's always about going against that, and uh, you know, instead of having loads of rules and you know, everything being controlled, it's kind of I like the idea of it being a sort of a free space where. You know, things can happen and maybe it doesn't always go the way you want, but you know, generally it, it does, you know. So yeah, I mean, touch wood. We're okay with the neighbours, isn't we? Well, yeah, that's always been, you know, I mean, because I went to art college after school and, you know, I've always found that there's like people who are creative often are a bit marginalised and, you know, you do come across like-minded people all the time and but you need to sort of create something that, that can, that, that is a common sort of point so that you can get together, have a reason to get together. But, I think there are lots of people who think the same. The system doesn't recognise a lot of talents, you know. Um, so it's been very rewarding in that, in that way. Well, I didn't really, I've never really known, you know. I'm, I've, I've started off doing sort of painting and poetry and then what attracted me to doing more music was just when, you know, painting and poetry can be quite a solitary thing, whereas music always seems to be a lot more 
of a social event, and that's why I sort of moved more into that. But I think the crossover is what's really interesting as well, you know. And I don't like the way you get sort of pigeonholed. I mean, art seems to be full of the hierarchy and the classification and the pigeonholing, and I really don't like that. And I mean, I did go to art college and did, did study in it and did postgrad study, but it seemed to be all about proving how marvellous you were, and very quickly what you actually did became less important. Well, yeah, I want to be interested in the idea of rubbish. That's why I like using doing paintings on crisp packets and things. And what do we we think of? You know, really like recycling. We're always we're inevitably recycling a lot of things. And in a really sort of efficient system, there isn't any rubbish. You know, look at nature; nothing's wasted. So that's that's one of the sort of themes. That's the beauty of art and music, really. That we're all constantly influenced by what we hear and what we see. And you know, that's the whole idea of art, really, is ideas get the chance to sort of go out there. And that's where the status thing that can get in the way of that. You know, I mean, you see how, how important art has been for you know, like general, spreading really important ideas and giving people a chance to feel good about themselves, that's what counts, not really whether you're up there or down there or whatever. Um, yeah, but if someone's been influenced by things, that's fine by me. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I can't, I haven't really had a sort of a plan, so, you know, what's, what's interesting is how it evolves, really, how things evolve. I mean, you know, when you plant a garden, you never know what it's going to look like. You don't want it to all die out, but you can't sort of have too high expectations. You've got to go with it, you know. So I think that's what's really important is if you, if you sort of start to think, oh, it should be like this or it should be like that, that's when you can actually get in the way of what happens. So, you know, I mean, I'm pleased when people turn up. And the main thing is, is that People are enjoying them, enjoying it, and feeling like they're doing something for themselves, and they're not like, you know, promoting something else, or you know, it's not about one person, it's not about me, it's not about anyone else, it's about everybody. It's about sort of recognizing that you know, all I've done is plant a seed, and I haven't really done what else. You know, I mean, it's um, I don't want it to sort of. You know, that's why I don't, really, I don't really feel very good about being here talking about it, because it's not me who's done anything, it's everybody who's been involved. It's, it's a collective thing, and I'm not really any, you know, great, I'm not an important part of it, really. I'm just the one that's all sort of got to I think it's important that everybody who's been involved is you know, credited with what they've done. You know, like Pete, I mean, we are gone, we'd never have got anywhere without Pete sort of pushing me on. Times when I thought, oh, I can't do this anymore. You sort of kept, you didn't really inspire me to keep going. And Andy's done a lot. I mean, everybody is sort of, you know, because like when I, when I do stuff on my own, I quickly lose faith in it and give up. But when you get a group of people, it's like momentum then. And you, it helps overcome those, and for me, it's been really important. You know, I mean, I've, I've benefited a lot mentally from it, and that's what's important to me. And, um, I don't want to sort of feel like um, anyone is, you know, less important than I am. Good question. Depends what people want. Isn't it? I think it's you know it definitely evolved, so it could keep evolving. I mean, we're trying to keep decimal place going. I mean, we're just having to do repairs there. I've got the scaffolding up. It's quite a 
It's, it is quite, quite expensive keeping it going. If, if anybody knows how to get some funding to help pay for it, that would be much appreciated. Uh, seems to be rather, you know, difficult that, but uh, that's the only side of it. It is a bit of a strain sometimes, is, but you know, that's just like life, isn't it? So. That's right. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Ooh.